I'm Jessica with My Favorite Realty, and I'm here with Ailish and the Palmer Chamber of Commerce to talk to you about Colony Christmas. Yeah, we're so excited. It's coming up next weekend. What's on? What's going on on Friday? So we've got the Festival of Trees going on, and thanks to you guys for helping figure out where we could do that this year. Um, but Matt's Special Santa will be set up in the downtown Palmer Plaza in the former space that was occupied by Shane Lamb, the Shane Lamb Gallery and they have 11 trees that they're raffling off. And those 11 trees are out in businesses right now. Um, and then people can buy raffle tickets and then you get to put your raffle tickets in each bin for whatever tree you want. You can put them all in one, you can put one in each one, whatever. Um, and then they're doing the drawing for those on Saturday at 3 p.m. at the plaza. So you can win these beautiful trees. You know, they're all, this is a little bit taller than they are. They're about four foot trees, three to four foot trees. They're filled with gift cards and little ornaments and presents and they're super cool. If you've never seen it, I, I strongly recommend one, buying a ticket, they're a dollar a piece. So you're supporting a wonderful cause. Matsu Special, Special Santa is helping out kiddos in our community to make sure that they have Christmas presents on Christmas morning. Um, and just looking at the trees, like the windows there at the Shane Lamb Gallery are gonna be beautiful to display all of those trees, so. Yep. And at the plaza, you can just kinda schmooze around and check out some of the other shops in there and just enjoy enjoy walking around and checking out the trees. That sounds mm -hmm. really pretty. Yeah, hopefully the chocolate shop is open that, that weekend because it's always nice to pop in there and get yourself a truffle. Maybe a little a truffle, treat. that sounds a truffle. amazing. <laughs> yeah, tr truffles are really, really good. So um, pop into Paradise Tanning. They've got some cool like local Palmer stuff for sale. Um, and then the Philly places in there, that, that place is coming back to life, which is, that building's coming back to life, which is awesome. So people have probably heard by now that we had to cancel the indoor craft fairs um, due to buildings being closed. And um, that, that's basically why I was, check up on your local, like small non brick and mortar businesses too, because every single show has been canceled pretty much this year. So a lot of those guys rely on those shows to get them through the year and there have not been very many options. So check them out and and do support those local businesses too what about saturday so saturday is the big day and that's where most of the events are happening um you know some of the things like the garden of light will be happening all three days go out when it's dark enjoy all the lights in the garden and at the pioneer home and stuff but when saturday, it's dark you mean like 3 30 in the afternoon yeah you know <laughs> 10 a.m to 2 30 p.m it's light but yeah this is definitely our dark time. So, um, yeah. let's see so, that they can light it up for us. Yes, yeah, the Garden of Light is gonna be great this year. Um, we've got some really creative minds behind that and it's just gonna be magical. So gear up and park your car and walk around town. There's tons of lights all over the place and it'll just be wonderful. So I'm gonna bring your kids over to the museum and they will have a Santa letter writing station outside the museum. You can either drop that off with the museum and it'll get sent to Santa, or you can pop over in front of the depot where we'll have Santa. Santa will be there getting uh, for a photo opportunity. So if you haven't gotten your photos of Santa yet, it'll be outdoors. Santa's happy that he gets to take pictures with kids outside because it's way cooler for him in his big fluffy suit. So he's excited to get to do that. And, um, and they've got a mailbox there for the kids to mail. Yep, they will awesome. have the, yep, they'll have a mailbox there. And, um, and so yeah, then they, they can either do the mailing there or pop over and see Santa. Also have the wishing wall. So we have this beautiful white ribbon that you can write a wish for 2021. We did this for the first time last year and um, we just, we tie them onto the fence posts at, on the fence, not just the post, but on the fence at the museum. Oh, that sounds good. And it just, it's really fun. You can go and read people's wishes and you can make your own wish and then they just blow in the wind and it's just really pretty. And the whole goal this year is to like keep as many things outside as possible. And right. so we've got the standards, like the, the reindeer will be out in front of the Friday Fling parking lot. They'll be in the parking lot for photos. We'll have a food truck rally in that Friday Fling parking lot. We'll have the reindeer train over at the Pioneer home. Horse drawn carriage rides right Isn't there. Isn't there an ice rink? Yeah. Tell and, me a little bit about the ice rink. Yeah. I'm excited to hear about that. Yeah, so the ice rink is a brand new thing that we've been working on this year. And part of the goal is to bring more activity to the outside of the Pioneer Home. Uh, those people have been kind of stuck inside the Pioneer Home for since March. And <laughs> yeah. so we're trying to bring more stuff over to them. So they, they have beautiful windows all around the Pioneer Home. So we'll have a disc golf course set up outside where you can walk around the building, wave at people as you throw your discs into the baskets. Oh, and thanks to BMI and Jensky for that. That's mm -hmm. pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah, and so then we were we just got approval to put in a ice rink outside the Pioneer Home as well. So if you're looking, if you're standing on the road looking at the Pioneer Home, you're going to see off to the right behind the hedge is where the the um, ice rink is going to go. So 
it'll be lit up for the evening and you can go skate at your own risk. There is no lifeguard on duty. Right. So, <laughs> so choose your adventure wisely. <laughs> lifeguard. No, no drowning in the yeah. ice rink. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we're pumped about that and, uh, it took some, took some doing, but we're, we're excited to, uh, to get to have an outdoor rink in the middle of town. Basically. I think having an outdoor rink is just so magical and yeah it is really fun. it's really really i think mm -hmm. very festive i mm -hmm. really like that idea yeah so and then saturday night is the parade yep the parade is at 5 p.m on saturday it's a parade of lights and so we still um we want to get as many people in the parade as possible it's super fun if you've never been in a parade i highly recommend it it's fun to wave at people and hand candy to kids it's a great way to advertise and market your business because it's free and you're in front of hundreds if not thousands of people and um Everybody always walks around and hands out free candy yeah, to kids. It's, it's wonderful. So the parade's at 5 p.m. and then as soon as the last float like crosses through, the fireworks will start 15 minutes after that. So we have a great fireworks show um, that BP sponsors and we have uh, some donations from Gorilla Fireworks. They're always willing to help us have an awesome show. And then Alaska Fire Pyrotechnics is so fun too. Oh, wow. he, he's the one that puts on this show. So um, they just, they love what they do and, and the fireworks are always a crowd pleaser. It's fun to kind of span, you know, looking at the fireworks, but also like turning your view towards people that you're standing next to and just seeing their smiles and stuff. Right. The fireworks always just right. make people happy, so. Oh gosh, and Saturday, I mean, we haven't even covered half of what's going mm -mm. on Saturday. So get online and take a look at the schedule and see what's going on. I know there's the cookie contest mm -hmm. and now there's a category for gingerbread houses mm -hmm. this year, which is great. And then also there's a cornhole tournament, disc golf, uh, and the smoosh races and the smoosh races. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, I love that. Yeah. The so, pictures last year were hysterical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the smoosh races are fun and, um, that's bring a team of four and we have, uh, we'll give away Palmer Bengals as prizes. And so it's a four person team that does a two by six stomp basically around down by the railroad tracks and back. They make a turn. The turn is the hard part. Turning turning boards that aren't bendy <laughs> around <laughs> a corner. <laughs> that's when people will fall. So it's really fun to watch. Well, it looks it, like we might have some snow this year mm -hmm. for that, which will be good. Which will be awesome, yeah. And if you are a baker or a novice baker, my favorite realty is awesome enough to host the cookie contest this year, and that will also be on Saturday. So you have between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. to drop those cookies off. Cookies and gingerbread houses. Mm -hmm. Bring them over to our office, which is at 634 South Bailey Street. Mm -hmm. We're in Suite 106. Mm -hmm. And we'll be here during that time to accept your uh, submissions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so we'll have great prizes for that too. So if you want to show off your baking skills, it's a great opportunity to do that. Um, you can download the applications for the smoosh races, the cookie contest, cornhole. and cornhole, yeah, all, all from our yep. plumberchamber.org website. And if you have any problems with anything, you can give us a call at 745-2880, and we're happy to answer any questions. Um, there's a running of the beers on Saturday evening. Oh, that so. sounds fun. From Bleeding Heart Brewery, which is right underneath the water tower in the back of Alaska Picker, they'll run out from there down the street and back. They're going to do the loop three times, so uh, it'll be around 5K. They call it the 5-ish K. And there's a fat tire bike race. Is that happening too? Yeah, there's not. It's not a race, but if you've seen fat bikes and you've never tried them, Backcountry Bike and Ski does a demo, so you can hop on one and like ride it around. Oh, cool! And that's on the quad over by the Palmer Ale House, and so you can test it out and like see if you want to buy one it's a very popular winter activity yeah, so i've seen them running around town and yeah. it looks pretty fun yeah <laughs> it's great so there is no shortage of stuff to do we're going to live stream the parade so if you're not comfortable coming out and being outside uh for the parade we will have it live streaming from the colony christmas palmer alaska facebook page so feel free to check it out great that's really awesome. Thank you so much, Ailish, yeah. for sitting here and talking with me. Of course. <laughs> really for having it all festive in yeah, here. Yeah, you know, it's <laughs> Christmas time. And yeah. I just wanted to say that from uh, from all of us at My Favorite Realty, and I'm sure I speak on the same uh, on behalf of the Palmer Chamber, Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and happy holidays. Enjoy the season. Enjoy the snow. And uh, be kind to everybody. Yeah, yeah, be kind. We'll see you on the 11th and 12th. 11th and 12th. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.